Change is really, really difficult. And so I'm going to walk through some things that I've seen make changes in organizations to win at digital transformation. Exactly what I envision the customer experience to be, you will have control of the future. I'm going to talk a bit more about how to actually do thinking and outcomes. I did it again and still didn't freaking go, I don't think. Those technologies like virtual reality and augmented reality is that they're giving you both presence and agency together. And that potentially gets you some real engagement. You know, these things that people actually do. And I think that's one of the really fascinating things about using virtual reality in a training perspective is you're priorities for this quarter. By grade 10, I dropped out of high school. Um, I remember my teacher saying in grade 8 when I was Great to have you here with us. Making impossible possible. If this is our goal, human connection isn't an option, it is a necessity. Yeah. Like what, what is the best thing you can say to somebody that is struggling? Because we want to help, but we just don't know what to do. Where people are and what orientation, where their body is. What we do, we must focus on what is the service we're trying to deliver, what is the outcome we're trying to achieve. Why have we made this switch? Why do we need to rebrand the digital um, trend, I'll say? Well, for one reason, our track record in IT has not been great. According to uh, this, uh, this study, 14% are not highly aligned to the needs of the organization. What does that mean? It means the organization's going this way, the project's going this way. How does that happen? Why, why do we allow that to happen? Our aspect is, you are going to be constantly fighting change. You're going to have a rigid set of requirements. You're going to ask for them to be signed off. 
and you're not gonna let the client change that. Yeah, no. <laughs> I didn't say it was good. And we were bringing you data and we were seeing data practices change. People were sharing data that they never shared before. It was pretty awesome in that respect. Um, but the uses are to populate directories. So there's an existing directory for the GC data world. The GC, it's called the data resource directory. Uh, and then we have we can create visualizations. We're going to show you a bunch of the visualizations today. And so the first thing you do is you do a bit of environmental scan. In this case, it's a scan using the ecosystem. So. It's always impressive how well organizations come together like DPI to deliver professional development week every single year. About five days. Five days. Compare that to Netflix. It took Netflix 3.5 years to get 1 million users. And all of a sudden you start to understand that acceleration that we're experiencing right now. And at the same time, all we see are headlines of doomsday scenarios. <laughs> so today I want you to view my presentation through the lens of the magic of technology and the possibilities and the opportunities that exist. So what are the what are the mechanisms by which those chatbots can intervene or what are the safeguards we can place to, to ensure that people can get further and further down into it? It's a fantastic question. I think I can answer this really uh, simply. Uh, one, uh, everybody's got to do their research, have the digital, digital literacy to understand the chatbots that they are using. speaking on stage in virtual reality. Yes, it looked like an avatar, but the reality was I had a room full of avatars, but I saw the head nods. I was able to, to make the connection with people. I could see them moving their hands. I'm getting that sense of presence of being in the room with them. That yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh, I wanted to write by now, so I can't have this keep happening again. That is the end of your interviews. It's time for you to make your safety assessment. We had an incredible lineup, seminars, mentoring sessions. Of course, we had two networking events. You know what the networking? That's, that's where my drink ticket privileges were revoked. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we believe in providing clear solutions for complex problems that empower organizations to succeed through technology driven innovation. To impact one or two of you, it's because you hear my story and you think of yourself. John Urban said, A good Canadian doesn't spit out gum on the road. <laughs> I still can't spit gum out on the road. And embracing the journey and learning and growing, then when something like this happens, it's profound, enduring, it's surprising, but it's also just like so much joy. Because you arrived at a point where you didn't expect it, but it happened because you did all the right things. Being the best version of yourself, and at worst being 80%, that's success. That comes at a cost. So I do have a call to action, all right? Yeah, I'm gonna make you do some work. I'll play the video and then cue a little bit more. What does the best version of me look like? I, I believe in the next 48 hours I'm gonna be living my purpose on this earth. I'm doing a keynote for Water for Life, UNICEF Gala, where all the best chefs come through and give their dishes and hoping to raise money for this issue of where 1.8 billion, so that's like a quarter of the world population, do not have access. Go tomorrow, fly out, early flight 6.15 a.m. from here. 
land and I'll talk at her school. I'll do a clinic for her and I'll go to the children's hospital where she spent some good days and some bad days. Next 48 hours, I'm challenging you as you sit to be like, what does that look like? Then start easy, start easy. The next 48 hours of your life, live it purposefully. Don't wait, like start now. Be uncomfortable, be of service to others. Call somebody that you hadn't called because it was gonna be hard, it was gonna be uncomfortable. Or maybe open up and say something you haven't said in a while that you've been sitting with them. It's been like, <sighs> I'd like to tell you something. So the other thing we're gonna do, when I was talking about going through the slides, I'm like, oh, this is a slide, I'm gonna ask questions. And I saw Christina be like, and I was like, oh, do you want to come up? She's like, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. People already, you're in the room. She didn't get to see the questions before, just so you know. There's somebody in the room that if you answer one of those questions are, you will have the greatest impact on. And she was like, I can't. Look at her now. <laughs> Woo! So. I think my uncomfortable, like being comfortable with you. <laughs> Coming up on the stage. Practicing my public speaking. I want just to be like Hugo this day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so. Thank you.